Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigar Cigar Cigars. Today I am reviewing the Umbegog cigar from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. And this is an interesting cigar. If you're familiar with Dunbarton, you know that they're pretty pricey cigars, generally speaking. This is the low end of their of their price range. I got 10 of these for about $75 to $85 US. I want to tell a little bit about the backstory of this cigar. Steve Saka, who is the founder of Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, has a favorite place in the world, and that's Lake Umbigog, which is up in, uh, on the northern part of New Hampshire on the main border. And he loves that place so much that he wanted to design a cigar that would sort of honor it. He wanted to have it fit in with the roughness and lake atmosphere and the outdoorsiness of, of that place. So if you look at the tobacco on here, this wrapper is very robust. It is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, a very thick wrapper. And underneath it is a San Andres Negro binder. So two very, very robust wrappers. And the filler is proprietary, but what the website says is it was blended precisely for the reason of having a very good burn. So it's a cigar you can smoke outdoors, handle roughly, and all that. So I'm excited to get this one lit up and tell you all about it. I'll be right back. I'm back and I'm at Foxbrook Lake Park in Brookfield, Wisconsin on a beautiful September day. And it fits in perfectly, I gotta tell you, with this cigar. This cigar meets the marketing story perfectly. It is robust, it is earthy, it really reminds you of an outdoorsy flavor. So, draws great, construction's great. As of this point, we're pretty early on. But I'm gonna confess, I've smoked a couple of these already. I bought that, that bundle of 10 a few weeks ago and I've been chomping at the bit. So, I'm speaking a little bit too from experience. But this is a great cigar if, you know, for a, a lawn mowing cigar or if you're camping or golfing or fishing hanging out by the lake. Man, I'm telling you, this is this is a great cigar for that. It really fits in. I very seldom do the marketing stories behind a cigar ever really ring true, but man, this, this one really does. So I'll, I'm gonna sit by the lake here, enjoy the rest of this cigar, and I will give you a final report in a few minutes. All right, I'm far enough along in this Umbegog cigar to give my final thoughts on it. Draw and construction, excellent, excellent, excellent. I've smoked, I've already said I've smoked three of these, and the first two I smoked, I'd give A plus for construction. This one I'd give an A to. It had a little tiny bit of canoeing, but hardly any. But the first two were, man, they were razor sharp all the way down. No relights at all needed. So very good construction and burn on these. Let's talk about taste. If you're looking for a nuanced cigar, this is not it. This is earthy and woody with some coffee flavor and some black pepper spice, which balances things nicely. But that's about it. And it starts that way and it ends that way. So um, not a fancy cigar, which I guess is, that's what we're talking about, right? It is a straight shooting cigar. So let's rate this cigar. I'm gonna give it a 6.0 for body. It's medium plus a little bit extra. But the smoking experience is really good. I love the construction on this cigar. It, it really fits the surroundings. Like I said before, if you're doing lawn mowing or hanging out with your friends by the lake or golfing or fishing or something like that, man, this is, this is the cigar I would recommend to you. So I'm gonna give it a 9.0 in general. It's a very good cigar and strongly recommend you look into it. Umbe Gog from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. I will see you next time.